toll bar has become the industrial standard for benchmarking and tuning linear axles. Today, multi-axis machines like five-axis machines and turn mill machines are becoming increasingly popular. These machines have got rotary axes on top of linear axes, and that's where AxiSet comes in. In today's video, we've got a traditional three-axis machine, on top of which we've got two rotary axes, which we're going to use for the, for the demonstration. Mark, so tell us, why is the AxiSet process important? Yeah, so um, when you've got rotary axes on the machine, the, the center line of these rotary axes is important to maximize the accuracy when you're doing your machining process. With AxiSet then, what we're trying to do is establish the accurate center line of your rotary axis. Right, great, okay, so you've got the sphere there mounted on the table, so what's gonna happen first? Yeah, so um, with the sphere on the table, uh, pro calibrated, we then measure the sphere at, at different angular positions and record the the, the center of the sphere at right. those different angles. And we use that then to calculate the uh, true center line of the rotary axis. Great, okay, let's uh, go on then and have a look. So first off, we establish the accurate center of the sphere. And then once that's done, we can then use that to uh, track the sphere position at the different rotary axis angles and obtain the, the, the accurate position for calculating the center line. Okay, so how many uh, angles are we going to use? So in this case, we're doing three um, user selectable. Um, right. And what we always try to do is uh, measure over the maximum angular range of the rotary axis to give us the best uh, solution or the best right. uh, center. So in this one, we've done a full 90 for the B axis, and I assume that for the C axis, we do the full 360 then, basically. Correct, yes, yes. Okay, great. So that's finished. What's happened on the control then? So with the points uh, that we've measured, as in the sphere positions, we then use those to calculate uh, a best fit arc uh, and thus a center, and the, the accurate true center of the, the rotary axis. Um, and then we've used those points to update our parameters on the machine um, so that the machine is now accurately setting the center lines of the right. Line. Okay, let's see those parameters then, shall sure. we? So the, the top uh, parameters here then control the B-axis center yep. line in this case, and these are now set to the accurate center that right. we just found with the axis set solution. Right, newly updated then. So of course this is the page that you see on FANUC, but on the other controls there's equivalent parameters, aren't there? Yeah, equivalent pa parameters, very okay. much doing a similar thing, controlling the center lines of the road track. Right, okay. And I think that's really important for users, because if in their cutting program they've got commands like G68.2 or G43.4, um, those are calling these parameters, so it's important to keep them up to date. Absolutely, yes. So, so the, those functions and thus the accuracy of using those functions totally rely on your road right. track center lines being set correctly. Got it. Okay, thanks Mark. So, in a follow-up video, we're going to have a look at the AxiSet app, which is another separate tool for visualizing and databasing these results. If you'd like more information, go to renishaw.com forward slash AxiSet.